my my mind is blown right now. I think this is one of the coolest things I've ever used a computer to do. This is so cool. Okay, so you know how in the Reader's Garden I use a word work mat and we build words. Well, I thought it would be really fun to try using the new Canva code to build a word work mat that's interactive. This is the product that I think is sort of my finished product, although I'm sure knowing me I'll make changes. But I want to show you how this works and then show you all the iterations of how we got here and how freaking cool this is. Like, uh, truly, I'm so excited that I, I don't know how to code and this is so cool. Okay, so we have our letter tiles here. And the way this works is I wanted to make it so we could bring the letter tiles up to this working area. So we you build your word here, we're gonna make the word cat. And look, this is something I added where I was like, I want it to be ghosted out after we move the letter up. So that was like one of the iterations. And then if I click add to ladder, then all of a sudden the word cat shows up here. So then I can take the C, click it, it goes back down there. And let's bring up a B to have in the beginning. So now we can make the word b at, bat and I can click add to ladder. So now it's tracking the words as we're making them, which is so cool. So then let's say we can uh, take off the T, bring a G up, and we've got the word bag, add to ladder. So we have this incredibly cool thing going on here as well. So now I can click clear word, and it keeps the ladder if I want it. But also, let's say I didn't want to work with all these tiles. So let's say we hadn't talked about the E yet, so I could bring the E down to the tile storage area. We hadn't worked with the Z or the W or the L or L. So we can remove them, so to limit our, what we're working with. But then if I want to, I can have that go back in its spot or I can just click restore all tiles and they show up, which again, is magic. So let me show you how this actually began, which was with, I was in um, just experimenting with Canva here. And I said, can I make an interactive letter work mat based off a picture? Cause I wanted to show the work mat I already use. And so you can actually upload pictures, but through descriptions, I was able to work through all these different, so this was the very first version we came up with and it didn't have quite what I needed, so I had some more questions. Then here's version two, it looks pretty similar. Version three also looks similar. We're just sort of working on how the tiles work, but then things started changing, let's see, around version nine. So version nine, I was like, ooh, I would really like for there to be this word ladder, but then I sort of felt like the layout was a little funky. And then so we got to version 11 here, still looks, I guess, basically the same. Version 12, we have movement of the ladder in a new spot. We have this, where now we have our tile storage area. All of this to say, I don't know how to code, I, I'm interested in learning, but I don't know how to code. And through back and forth, like input and I, I guess conversation, I was able to create this functional app that is just so cool. So definitely if you are a Canva user, uh, and also I'm, I am in no way associated with Canva other than the fact that I, I use it for all my work, but I'm not like tied with them. But I just, this is totally magic and I wanted you to see how incredibly magical this was. And I cannot wait to create more apps and games and ways to make reading and phonics be interactive in this way. This is so 